Hi, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about how to generate random numbers in Microsoft Excel. So to start with, let's generate a random number between 0 and 1. To do this we can use the rand function. So I just do equals rand. And this is going to give me a random number between 0 and 1 that's uniformly distributed. Now, if I copy and paste this number, you'll notice two things. One is the number in the original cell changed. And that is because the RAND function, anytime there's a new number value that's input into anything in the spreadsheet or anything that's changed in the spreadsheet, that RAND function will generate a new number. One thing to note. And then the second thing is that the number that was in the cell that we copied is not the same number that was pasted and that's because we didn't copy that number we actually copied the value in this cell which is the rand function so when we pasted we pasted the rand function into all of these cells so each of the cells generates a random number by itself all right now let's say that we want to generate a random number between 0 and some other number let's just say 10 so we could do equal rand and then whatever number we want to want to uh, go up to, which is multiplied by that. So in this case, we'll do rand times 10, and that is because as since rand goes between 0 and 1, as rand gets closer to 0, this value, 10 multiplied by 0, will be 0. And as rand gets closer to 1, um, it'll be a value getting closer and closer to 1, times 10, which gets closer and closer to 10, and equals 10, 1 equals 0. So as we can see, we get a random number between 0 and 10. All right. And then let's say that we would, don't want to start at 0, but we want to start at something else. This is fine, too. We can just add that number 2 here. So say we want to start at 5, then we'll just do plus 5. And this will give us a random number between 5 and 6. All right. Okay. Let's say we want a longer interval, say between five and ten. That's fine too. We could do equals rand, and then plus five. All right. Excuse me. Plus five. All right. And then what we want to do is add uh, multiply the value that is the difference between the two numbers. Um, so if you take the upper bound, which is 10, and subtract the lower bound, which is 5, that is the number you multiply by. So in this case, I will do 5, and I get a random number between 5 and 10. Okay. And again, the reasoning behind this is that as rand gets closer to 0, this ran times 5 goes to 0, so you just have the plus 5, so it starts at 5. And as ran gets closer to 1, you have ran times 5, which gets close to 5, plus 5 again, which equals 10. So that is how you do that. And then one more thing I will go over is how to, how to do random integers. So in this case, we've been getting doubles, floats, um, numbers with decimals. But in certain situations, we might want just whole numbers, um, integers. So in this case, there is a function called rand between. And it takes two parameters, the lower value and the upper value. So if I do 1, comma 10, this will give me a random integer between 1 and 10. OK, as you can see. Um, but I can do this for any number of values. So I can do equals rand between, say, 10 and 20. And this will give me a random integer between 10 and 20. All right. 